Hi, in the last video I showed you how you can update your table columns using a drop-down menu. In this video I'm going to show you a technique I like to use that informs a user when they've updated a row. To get started I need to open up my message handler from the previous video and I need to add a variable called new row that's going to be a dictionary. I need to add the key value and set it to my row value and I also need to add a style key this is going to be equal to another dictionary uh, with a background color key and a color of your choice. I'm going to use orange. Then I need to set my row data equal to my new row variable. When I edit a row, you can see it changes the entire row color to orange. Pretty nice, but there's actually a problem. If I update one of these rows that I've already updated, uh, you lose sight of some data here. What's really going on is that in the underlying data I'm creating an additional style and value layer before I get to the actual columns and their values. To fix this I need to go back into my message handler. I'm going to add a try statement here and then I'm going to put the rest of this, uh, well, these two lines actually, under an accept statement. I'm going to copy these and put them under try and in order to access those columns and values, I just need to find the value property to my row that we created when we updated our row the first time. So now if I reset this data here and I update my column more than once, we can open this up and actually see um, that it's changing the column value but it's not screwing up any of our other data. Now there's actually another reason why I really like this technique and it has to do with updating a database. Um, instead of having to update every single row of this table, I can ignore any row that doesn't have a value property, essentially ignoring any row that hasn't been updated and focus only on those rows that have been updated when I'm looping through my data set and updating a database. If I print this statement here, you're going to see it just prints one row. If I update two other rows, it's going to print just those rows that have been updated. That's it. That's the technique that I like to use. I hope that you found it useful too. Thanks for watching.